another Wednesday, another unboxing. So stick around. Hello everyone, this is Ricardo Review. Today I'm unboxing a rod, which is part of a big, big family that is blowing up on Aliexpress, if I can reach and take the sleeve out. I don't know if you can see, probably not, because it's not turned to that side, but you can see the model that I have, which is pretty cool when they put a the model on the sleeve, you know that they care. M1, designed by Ending, Simply Fun and the Ending logo. I have to disclose that this rod was sent to me at cost, as am I doing now, uh, from Ending. And also with the sending, I have to tell you that the packaging is very, very good and they have a euro warehouse so if you're in europe like this came from spain so to meet two days the other fellas in the rest of europe should be around five days but without further ado let's look in what i got so i got a small one and the spinny one so this is a spinning rod from the Handing M1 family. And you know why I got it, because I already have the reel. And I will just tell you a little bit of the Handing M1 family. They have spinning rods like this one and casting rods. People, I think, actually love a lot of the casting rods. I never saw a review of the spinning rod. I see a lot of reviews of the casting rods, but I will just tell you what they have. So they have spinning rods on the family of the M1. They have seven models and five casting models going in five sizes. 1.68 like this one, 1.80, 1.98, 2.13 2.21 or 5 foot 6, 6 foot, 6 foot 6, 7 foot and 7 foot 3 inches. Then they go from ultralight to heavy with everything in between and they can throw loose from 1 to 42 grams. Of course not on the same model. So this one casts from 1 to 3 grams and the heavy one throws until 42 grams. They feature 7 to 9 Fuji guides, so O plus A guides, depending on the model. The craftsmanship for this price point, it's very, very good. You don't see blemishes on the epoxy. The working is just perfect. Uh, not what you would expect on a 20 something to $40 rod. The blank is a 24 ton, so very, very forgiving. It's not brittle because it's not a, a higher tonnage carbon fiber construction. So this is a very, very good rod for beginning. In the beginning, yeah. In, in, in the beginning. For beginners, because it will forgive some of your mistakes. My version, it's a two-parter. I think all the rods on the family are made of two sections and it features a tip of 1.3 millimeters and has a lure rating from 1 to 3 grams and a line rating from 2 to 6 pounds. This rod weighs 85 grams or 3 ounces and you have also reels for it. So you have the M1 spinning reel and you have the M1 casting reel if you want the casting version. I have to tell you that the casting versions start on medium, so you will not have ultra light and light versions like you have in here. So they will start at 1.98 meters, so 6.6 uh, and with a higher caster weight. I think they start at 5 grams, the lower weight that you can, can cast. So 
you have the tag for the Fuji guides and I'll give you a closer look of the craftsmanship. So pretty pretty cool blank, very very cool epoxy work on the guides, the color scheme I really like and if I turn it around you can even see the lettering the data for this rod the real seat it's a thing of beauty very very well sorry it will not focus very very well designed also with a fluorescent greenish yellow and this pretty cool carbon fiber butt in here you have you have the type of rod that it is all-purpose finesse you have in here on the real seat the brand and if it is assembled it you have in here also the brand on this bit of aluminium oh. now that i will start using my flow tube and wading it's a very very short rod a very very forgiven blank because it's a 24 ton construction as i said and it will pair nicely with the M1 reel. Let's see the combo. So what you think? Pretty pretty sick combo. Let's find out how it fishes on the water on the next few days. But until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye.